Who's the stupidest person you've ever met? And what story perfectly sums up their stupidity? An old co-worker named James. We worked at McDonald's and were both 16. One time, while mopping the lobby, he for some unknown reason decided to chase a number of customers around with the mop yelling, I'm gonna getcha. He was fired on the spot. My brother and I were in the kitchen one day as teenagers. My brother was filling the sink to wash dishes. When the sink was nearly full, he went to turn the tap off, but it wouldn't budge, so the water kept flowing. I tried turning it too, but with no success. This is when the panic set in. The level of the water was rising fast, and we didn't want to flood the kitchen. He took big saucepans out of the press to fill with water to keep things from overflowing, while I was in a frantic scramble under the sink trying to find the mains to turn it off there. I couldn't find it. Now really panicking I took over the pot filling duty and my brother went running off to look for dad as quick as he could. Dad came running in with my brother while we were shouting at him about looking for the mains. Dad just came over to the sink and pulled the plug out of the hole letting all the water down the drain. Aha! Uh -huh. I've told this story before. I had a boss named Tammy. One night, we were all working late doing stock take, and we were discussing the impending lunar eclipse. Someone asked what happens during an eclipse. Tammy grandly explained that the eclipse would occur when America went in front of the moon, blocking our, Australia's, view of it. Like she literally thought the Earth stretched itself into like a U-bend or neck pillow shape, and half of it stayed in our normal orbit, and the other half stretched itself over and around to casually block the moon for the rest of the Earth. My roommate for the last three years once said that if solar technology keeps advancing at the rate it is, we will absorb all the energy made by the sun and fix global warming. Not five minutes later after attempting to inform this poor fellow about how the sun's energy output is not determined by what the energy eventually interacts with, he states that wind farms are worse because they cause tropical storms. I hope he is just an epic troll. I just... I don't know. Had a guy in a third-year undergrad developmental psych course raise his hand in a full lecture hall and ask the professor, Prof, do infants diagnosed with SIDS get asthma later in life? Like are they more likely to get asthma? SIDS stands for Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. He just kept pursuing the question the prof didn't understand how she could answer it. She thought there was some kind of logic in it that she wasn't seeing. Finally some girl took the initiative to shout across the room, no they are not more likely to get asthma, they are dead. They have died suddenly, and will thus not be at risk of developing asthma. Great day. He always sat in front of me, and I would see him writing just absolutely horrible poetry and song lyrics. I'm half Korean going to high school in the Midwest during the 1992 LA riots. My typing teacher pulled me into the hallway and asked if I had an uncle or something I can call in LA to make the riot stop. She said she knew that we are all close and we all have stores and whatnot, therefore I must have a connection there. I was like, lady, even if I did have an uncle I could call do you think he is Batman? My high school classmate whose name is Nick. We were in chemistry, doing a lab practical, which required the use of a bulb pipette, a glass pipette with a removable bulb that you squeeze. Mick didn't know how to use the pipette so he put it to his mouth to suck up sulfuric acid. It got about three quarters of the way up before our teacher screamed Nick. Stop that right now. My cousin. All through public school, she was a snob who looked down on everyone. She was super stylish and struggled academically. We graduated in 2014. We both went to colleges, not the same one. She got a job at a bar, stayed out late drinking. Her boyfriend told her she didn't need to complete college, so she just stopped showing up. Didn't drop, just stopped showing up completely flunked out. Here comes the meta stupidity, our families live hours away from our college at the time. Her family went to move her back home. My cousin's mom noticed a pile of clothes in the corner. The mom said what's that, your laundry? Pack it and we'll wash it when we get home later. My cousin, I kid you not you can wash those. Turns out, she'd been throwing away clothes instead of washing them. She claimed she didn't know she could, yet she washed her undergarments and bras without a hitch. She's now at home with her family and has started doing more chores to show an increase in responsibility. She still tries to throw clothes away, citing that she didn't know they could be washed and reused. Makes me wonder what she thought all those years before college, before she left home. She wore some of the same outfits repeatedly, she had to have known they could be washed. I've posted this story before, but this seems like another appropriate thread for this story. One night during high school, my friend and I got invited to a party. I didn't drive back then so my friend picked me up. All went well on our way to the party. On the way back however, he got pulled over. As we were pulling to the side of the road, I told him that I was gonna pretend to be sleeping, since I was the passenger. Anyway, I hear the cop get out of his cop car, walk towards our car, stops at the window but doesn't say anything. 
I can feel the brightness of his flashlight, but I don't hear him or my friend say anything. After about what seemed like an eternity, I decide to open my eyes to see what's going on. That's when I see my friend, the guy who is driving, is pretending like he is sleeping too. This girl I used to work with before she got fired. One day she came to work with a broken arm and claimed her boyfriend pushed her during a fight and she fell. We all were super concerned for her until she came in a week later saying she stabbed her boyfriend in the hand during a fight to get back at him for breaking her arm. Then a few weeks later she told everyone she was secretly trying to get pregnant because if she got pregnant her unemployed boyfriend would have to get a job and help pay rent. She got pregnant and her boyfriend immediately dumped her. I worked with a man named Roy. Roy had theories about how to live life. Economics. One day, he turned to me and the other member of the crew. You boys want to know how you get nice things, he asked. You go to the store, and you finance everything. New furniture, new appliances, televisions, stereos, everything. Then, you don't make any payments, and you don't show up for your court date. They'll end up garnishing your wages, but they take way less than the payments would have been. Then, about a week later, you boys want to know how you buy a house. You apply for every credit card you can possibly get, you take out your entire balance and cash from all of them, and you use that for your down payment. Then, you don't make any payments, and you don't show up for your court date. Asterisk for people thinking that they may know this specific Roy, I last saw him 10 years ago. At that time, he was in his early 50s, was rocking a grey slash blonde skullet, and lived in a hamlet in the province of Saskatchewan. My friend's sister was 20 and pregnant, she said something about how upset she was her vagina would be ruined. I jokingly said maybe he'll come out of your but instead she said what do you mean? Can they come out of there too? I thought she was joking so I just said duh, it's a 50-50 shot she thought I was serious and asked her doctor if he could tell if the baby was gonna come out of her vagina or ass. Edit, I know technically you can tear from your vagina to your ass in labor meaning technically since it kinda becomes one hole that the baby would come out of the vag ass hole, but she didn't think that she thought she would shit the baby out. Edit number 2, since I've been a few people bring it up, she figured out I was just f with her, she told her sister, my friend, what the doctor said and my friend told her that I was joking. Edit 3, she'd also mentioned there's a 30% chance it may be her first cousin's baby, she told me they only made out but her friend let it slip that they'd been banging. Back in my younger and crankier days, I worked with this young woman who was hands down the dumbest person I've ever met. Her highlights include... Winning a basket auction that included a copy of the Beach Boys album Pet Sounds and comp playing because she didn't want to hear a lot of mowing. On a day she was driving me up a wall I convinced her to wait to open her bottle of coke because the bottle said there was a winner every 5 minutes. She was disappointed she didn't win after waiting exactly 5 minutes. I however enjoyed her sulky silence for the rest of the day. The best slash worst one involved her chatting with a manager who was African American, she's white. They were discussing their shared slightly uncommon name and then realized their families both came from South Carolina. She thought for a few minutes it and then excitedly exclaimed I bet my family owned yours. She was so proud of herself for figuring out that historic connection. The manager didn't say a word and just walked away. My freshman year roommate dropped the class because he wanted to play his PlayStation more. It put him below the minimum credit threshold for his scholarships and his parents owed $40,000. My brother. He is genuinely the stupidest person I know. He has broken his arms five times, three for the right arm and two for the left. This is how he did it. 1. Age 7, dancing on a table, fell off. 2. Age 15, smoking pot with a friend, cop shows up and he runs, jumps a fence, shorts get caught, he falls out of them onto his arm. 3. Age 17, runs in front of his friend's truck as it went down the road at 30 mph. Age 19, was trying to hide from someone and jumped over a couch, and somehow broke his arm. I don't remember how he broke it the other time, I just know it's been 5 times. He was arrested for possession of a firearm when he is not legally allowed to own one. It was his friend's firearm. He pointed it at a cop. He got expelled from my high school. Twice. He got expelled from public school on the last day of school for writing rape to pregnant B, call it a threesome on a final. Note, these are rap lyrics, he did not actually rape a pregnant woman. He had two lines in a mandatory play. He still messed it up. While in prison he got a marijuana leaf tattooed on his face. Upon seeing him for the first time after prison he said, Mom thinks I'm getting it removed, but I'm only gonna make it better. I'm also gonna get Chinese lettering down my face. We are painfully white. He dropped out of high school before finishing the 10th grade. Not because he had to, just because he didn't like school and wanted to do drugs instead. He ended with a 3 in history and a 6 in math. I don't know what his other grades were. When he was 15, my uncle was 30. It took half an hour to explain to him why he would not always be half of my uncle's age. 
He genuinely, genuinely believed that the Ebola scare a couple of years ago was the beginning of the zombie apocalypse. I am sure if I thought real hard I could come up with someone more stupid, but this story is pretty good. There was this receptionist at the veterinary office we have taken our dogs to over the years who argued with my dad about how to pronounce his own name. He went in to pick up some prescription something for our dog Daisy, and this girl asked the typical name of dog, name of owner type questions. We have it listed as Michelle, and you don't look like a Michelle, she says. Dad asked how it was spelled on the monitor, and sure enough it was still spelled Michael, Dad's name. He said that says Michael. That's my name. And she argued with him about it. He had to get his driver's license out to show her, and even though she finally relented to let him pick up whatever it was he was down there to pick up, she was adamant my dad has been mispronouncing his own name for 50 plus years. The best part is dad tells us this whole story, and we think nothing of it till like 3 months later when mom took the dog in for a checkup. The girl still thought the owner of the dog was Michelle, and that my mom must be in a lesbian relationship. Mom gently corrected the lady that it was Michael, and again this girl was adamant it was pronounced Michelle. Mom, bemused, said something along the lines of it's literally a name from the Bible. It's pronounced Michael and has been for thousands of years. The receptionist sat in silence outside of the minimal amount of talking needed for the rest of that visit. Edit, while this blew up. Woke up to like 200 responses so I'll just respond here. Thanks for the heads up the Hebrew thing. In hindsight that was silly. Makes me wonder when exactly that spelling started to sound like we say it today. Also this is just my recollection of the story because I heard it all second hand through the parents so I'm sure I've embellished it without realizing, and this was all over a decade ago anyway. As for homegirl, she was very much typical white girl. My guess is she had a foreign friend that spelled her name that way and pronounced it Michelle and she figured that was just the only possible way to say it. It's more the arguing over how to say it thing than anything else. Who argues with someone on how that person says their own name? My ex-husband. We were playing rock, paper, scissor to decide who had to go change the baby best two of three. Round one, I throw scissor and he throws rock. I win. He proclaimed. Round two, I throw paper and he throws rock. I win. He says again. Them, paper beats rock, I tell him. His response? No, rock beats everything. I spend like five minutes trying to wrap my mind around this. Finally, I ask him, man, what's the point of even playing? In total sincerity, he says to have fun. Clarification edits. One, no, sadly, he was not trolling me. He was completely serious. I know it's hard to believe, but in all fairness, he was born and raised in Florida. Two, yes, I changed the baby. I did pretty much everything involving the baby after that. Three, as for my own level of intelligence and that of my son, I think he said it best himself when, at four years old, he said to me, daddy can't help it. What's your excuse? The first time I ever met my future sister-in-law, she asked me, if you're Canadian, how can you speak American? She was 20 at the time. Asterisk get it, this blew up. Since a lot of people mention this, she's my husband's stepsister, so there's no relation to him slash me. Yes, it was a genuine question, I asked her about it later. She's not smart, sarcastic, or witty enough to make a joke like this. She is the living embodiment of the American stereotype you'd think of. Literally this guy got fired last week for doing this. Whenever a customer would enter the store he would mimic everything they said whilst already bad enough he would try his best to copy their accent too no matter what accent it was. Multiple complaints to our store have been made about this guy and he had plenty of warnings. Well last week he finally got fired while serving an Asian customer and in full view of our manager he says this. Hera would you like a brag? Got pulled into the office where apparently he still maintained he'd done nothing wrong and couldn't understand why he was being fired. Definitely a dumbass. My mom's cousin was the getaway driver when his friends held up a 7 to 11. He had some outstanding tickets at the time. As he was driving his moron friends him home, he sped past the cop, who inevitably pulled him over. He defended his bad driving by telling the cop he was just the getaway driver. Then he got arrested. He has since been arrested for a series of other similarly stupid crimes. He also believes that there's a global cabal of Jews who are out to get him. Recently, he got a DUI, which got his license revoked. This was obviously because of the Jews and not because he decided to drive drunk past a police station. When he was denied a gun license, that was the Jews at work. I have no idea why he thinks a global cabal would be focused on some moron from Saskatchewan. There was this guy at my high school that wasn't too bright and was mostly harmless but about halfway through decided he was gonna be a thug. 
One day he goes into a class of first years when their teacher wasn't there and robs all their electronics, cash and valuables at knife point without covering his face and before he left gave them his real name saying, and you better not tell them it was me Jim Conrad that stole all your stuff. He then proceeded to leave school grounds with all the stolen stuff, but decides against stashing it off campus and so came back with all the stolen stuff in his backpack and went back to spy on the class with his backpack full of loot while police officers were there taking statements to make sure they weren't ratting him out. Edit, for those that want the end of the story but it's too very defined, the kids all rat him out and when he hears his name he steps into the class proclaiming he'd gut them if they didn't take back saying he did it, with the officers still in the class and all his loot on his back. He was expelled and arrested, and when word got to our year group everyone just face palm. Edit 2. I don't know why he's so stupid, but it wasn't an isolated act of idiocy. It was quite well known by everyone in my year group how dumb he was. In fact he didn't even qualify for admission, but his family called in a ton of favors to get him in on recommendation. I had manager named Roxanne, Rocky. She was a bleach blonde, literally bleached her hair once a month, and then wondered why it broke slash fell out. Bubble head who only had the job because daddy owned the restaurant. Rocky was really obsessed with her looks and not much else. One day she told me, and a co-worker, that she had her nose job done so that her eventual children wouldn't grow up with the same nose as her. She wasn't kidding. The co-worker and I just looked at each other and walked away. We knew it wasn't worth the effort. Helped a client out to his car with some merchandise. He struggled for a bit to get into the vehicle. I, jokingly, asked if it was his car. He backed up, looked at it and said, nope. No this is not my car and went to a different color and make of car in the lot. There were only three cars in the whole lot. Edited to answer some of the questions. He was not elderly or have any obvious deficiencies. Not to say he didn't but we had a lot of interaction with him and he seemed mostly to just not listen slash pay attention. I work in a veterinary clinic so he was a client not a customer. I was helping him out to his car with some dog food. He does have two vehicles but one is a big pickup and the other is a small car. Two of the vehicles were cars and one was an SUV, I remember because it was such a bizarre exchange. And the cars were nothing alike. I don't remember exact models but one was maroon and one was silver. He was notorious for being numb. No matter what we did or instituted, after an appointment he had with us he would always forget everything we had said and lose the paperwork we sent with him between our office and his house. His girlfriend would always call in a tiz that we told him nothing of what was going on with the dogs or how to use the medications or whatever and he liked to argue with the veterinarians that whatever they diagnosed was wrong. They currently go to another local clinic after fighting with one of our vets, but will be back after fighting with the other one. They've been back and forth a few times. Oh. He also bought a puppy and wanted his ears cut. We don't do that so he went a couple states away to have them done, but then didn't tape them up properly and now they're cut and floppy. Poor dog is slapped like dumb, on a train, and was stupid because of this stupid guy. I knew this guy in high school really thought his practical jokes were hilarious. He would just do stuff designed to piss you off, thinking your salty reaction would make it funny. You may be thinking this guy's a dick and you'd be right. But he's also incredibly stupid, because every time someone said dude, f chill out with your bull s he just blew it off. Social stupidity I guess. Well one day he knocked this kid's hat off his head. These guys were friends, but clearly there was some hostility. Other kid picks up his hat and tells pranker to f off. Pranker smacks his hat again. Other kid tells him if Pranker knocks his hat off a third time, he'd knock Pranker's head off. Pranker has a ass-eating grin, completely oblivious to how dead-ass serious this guy was, and got absolutely clocked in the face when he fucked with this guy's hat a third time. All he could say was what the f-man chill out, but no one was willing to hear him out. Guy I worked with named Buddy bought a huge snap-on rollaway toolbox for over $3,000, on credit. Two days later, he sold it to a co-worker for $1,500 because he had some overdue bills and had to pay them. Needless to say, he never paid Snap-on for the toolbox he was off into the winds after he was fired for starting his fourth fist fight at work. One of the other guys I worked with told the Snap-on salesman where Buddy's new job was, and last we heard they are now garnishing his wages. Guy was a He had very thin skin, and the slightest thing would set him off. He's go absolutely nuts when he was set off though. He yelled at the security guard and threatened to have him fired because he didn't like his tone. He almost got fired three times for fighting, but he was able to win the department manager over until the fourth time. Oh, and one time he was told to put caution tape across a malfunctioning gate and he said I don't know how. My friend's father robbed a bank in a small town in Indiana where he lived. This was in the late 70s or early 80s. He spent 10 years in prison for the crime. The same day he was released from prison, he robbed the same bank again. He was caught and back to prison he goes. He did not learn in those 10 years not to rob any banks or anything in that matter. 
My friend was like this is what every father does and did not seem shocked over it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel for more exciting stories. You have to get out of the matrix. So watch our other videos right now. Stop chilling on your couch just like that. Get on with it.